Just a really quick announcement before we get going. Our popular Basics 2020 learning package update has been released. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a Revit template, and an exercise project. Basics is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. Download the package at revitpr.com basics or check the link in the description below. 12 steps to create a shared site in Revit. In this video, you are going to learn how to create a shared site in Revit. This tutorial requires the basic knowledge of the coordinate system, so make sure you've watched the first video in our series. The content of this video is also available in a blog post on our website. Check out the link in the description below to read the guide. In this example, you can see we have three different Revit files, a site model and two building models. They all share the same coordinate system, which is represented by the survey point. Each building is its own project base point represented by the gray circle. Before you learn how to create a shared site, here are the benefits you will get by using the system. Benefit number one, spot coordinates refer to the same point on all models. You will find the spot coordinates tool in the annotate tab. When you click on a point, it will give you the north-south and east-west coordinates of that point. When using a shared coordinate system, these values will be the same in all linked models. They always refer to the position of the survey point. Benefit number two, spot elevation refer to the same height on all models. Also in the annotate tab, you can find the spot elevation tool. It will give you the height distance to the survey point. Often, this feature is used in reference to the sea level zero of the project. In this system, you will get the same value for all linked Revit models. Just make sure the coordinate origin of the spot elevation is set to survey point. Benefit number three, link Revit files using by share coordinates positioning. When you are using a shared coordinate system, files can be linked using the by share coordinates positioning option. In this example, we link a structural file into the site model using the by share coordinates positioning option. As you can see, the structural file is automatically positioned to fit the site and architecture models. Benefit number four, set true north on site model using the rotation tool. Typically, the true north of a building is set in the architecture file by setting a numerical value for the distance between project north and true north. When using shared coordinates, you can instead rotate the building to adjust the true north inside the architecture file. A few more things. You need to understand the difference between shared site and shared coordinates. All the link files are using the same shared coordinate system. However, each building has its own project base point and its own shared site. That means a shared coordinate system can contain multiple shared sites. A final warning. For the system to properly work, make sure that you never unclip the survey point. Here's the reason why. If you move an unclipped survey point, the spot coordinates won't refer to the survey point itself, but to the original position of the survey point, before you unclipped and moved it. In that scenario, the origin of the shared site is represented by an invisible point. To avoid the confusion, just never unclip the survey point. 12 steps to create a shared site in Revit. In this diagram, you can see that we first create the architecture, structure, and MEP models independently. Then, the Revit site model is created using a CAD survey data. The shared coordinates are then spread to all the other Revit files. Step number one, create architecture model, locate internal origin. The first step is to create the main architecture model. Orient the views for convenience and ignore the true north for the moment. Make sure to place the building in relation to the internal origin. Usually, that means at a corner of your building, where two major grids might intersect. You cannot relocate the internal origin of the project, so don't mess up. Step number two, link Revit models from all disciplines using origin to origin. If you have MEP and structure models ready, you can link all the Revit files together. We'll find the link Revit tool in the insert tab. Use the auto origin to origin option. Always use this option and you will never have positioning problems when linking multiple disciplines. Don't worry about shared coordinates for now. Step number three, create site model and link at survey data. Once you have the survey data from your civil engineer or surveyor in hand, create a new Revit site model. Make sure the origin in the CAD file containing the survey data is where it needs to be. In this example, we will use a 2D CAD topo file, although sometimes you might receive 3D files. Use the link CAD tool located in the Insert tab. Use the Manual Center Positioning option. Click to place the DWG file. Now go to the Manage tab. Click on the Coordinates icon, then select the Acquire Coordinates tool. Then click on the CAD link. 
As you can see, the survey point of the Revit site model is automatically moved to match the CAD file origin. In this case, the CAD origin is located at the intersection of two property lines. Step number 4. Model topo surface using CAD file. Go to the Massing and Site tab and click on Topo Surface. In the Contextual tab, click on Create from Import, then select Import Instance. Click on the CAD file and only keep the layer that contains the topography lines. Click on OK. Revit will automatically create points that match the curve lines. You still have to manually set the height of each point to match the survey data. Select all the points matching a line. Then we add a value in the option bar. Repeat the same steps for all the points. Make final adjustments to the point. Click the green check to complete. Step number 5. Set survey point to elevation equals 0. In this example, we want the survey point to be positioned at the sea level equals 0. That means we must move it to match the internal origin height of the site model. Go to an elevation view. Go to the visibility graphics menu by using shortcut VG. Scroll down to site. Collapse the menu and activate the visibility of the survey point. Select the survey point and make sure it is clipped. Move it to match the height of the internal origin. If you don't know how to locate the internal origin, make sure to watch our previous video on coordinates. In some cases, the survey point might already be at the same height as the internal origin. Step number 6. Link and position the architecture model. Go to the Insert tab and click on Link Revit. Select your architecture project. In the Positioning option, select Manual Center. Now, manually position the building on the site. Step number 7. Rotate architecture model if necessary. Like we've mentioned previously, you can set the true north of the project using the rotation tool. Use shortcut RO to use the tool. Step number 8. Adjust the building vertical position. Go to an elevation view. Adjust the vertical position of the building. To be more precise, create a level on the site model. In the Architecture tab, select the Level tool. The height of the level is in reference to the sea level. Call the level Building A Level 1. Use the Align tool to lock the building link model to this level. That makes it easier to adjust the building vertical position. Step number 9. Publish coordinates to architecture model. Now that the position of the architecture model is final, time to publish the coordinates. Select the link. In the instance properties, you will find the shared site parameter. Keep the first option, which will publish the coordinates from the site model to the architecture model. Click on Reconcile. The survey point of the architecture model is moved to match the position of the site model. Close the site model. You will get a warning asking you if you want to keep the new position of the architecture model. Click on Save. Let's open the architecture file to see if the published coordinates process properly worked. Go to the floor plan view. As you can see, the survey point position is moved to match where it is located in the site model. In the view instance properties, switch the view orientation from Project North to True North. The orientation of the view matches the rotation you have set in the site model. Step number 10. Optional. Create multiple instances of the same architecture model. Go back to the site model. We will copy and paste the building instance by using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. We adjust the position using the Rotate tool. Repeat the process of publishing the coordinates. The menu is different from last time. Click on the Change button. You will access the list of shared sites from the architecture model. Click on the Duplicate button and enter a new name. Click on OK to complete the process. Once again, the survey point of the link instance is moved to the site survey point position. Close the site model and click Save again to confirm the new position. We'll once again verify the position has been properly set. Select the survey point. Click on the blue text that says Survey Point Internal. You will see the new shared site you have created in the site model. Select it and click on Make Current. 
As you can see, the survey point is moved to match the position used in shirt site number 2. The true north angle is also adjusted accordingly. You can switch back to the original shared site if you want. Step number 11. Structure and MEP models acquire coordinates from architecture. We have already linked architecture and structure together using the origin to origin option. Now you can spread the coordinate system to the structural file. Select the structural link model. Click on the shared site parameter. Since we are inside the architecture file, you must use the publish option. If you were inside the structural file, you would have to use the acquire option. Click on reconcile to complete. Close the architecture model and click on save to complete the process. Step number 12. Link site model into structure and MEP models using by shared coordinates. Open the site model again. Go to the insert tab and click on link Revit. Select the structure file. This time you can use the by share coordinates positioning option. As you can see, the structure file will automatically be positioned to match both the architecture and site models. All files are now using the same shared coordinate system. That completes all the steps to create a shared site in Revit. In some cases, you might have multiple buildings on the same site model. The process is the same, but you will have multiple shared sites. Everything is still using the same coordinate system. Coordinates in Revit can be a complex topic. Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments below and your questions will be answered in an upcoming video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.